Yeah, it's been amazing. He moved in um, at the beginning of the last month. And, um, you know, I don't normally get to see him too much, uh, you know, for years when he's been kind of playing his football in Manchester. Um, but it's been great. We get along so well, we're really close, and it's been, uh, it's been awesome. Oh, it was great, actually, with the way it worked out. Um, he was able to come up here and train with the team, kind of have a go um, without me there and to kind of prove to them, you know, what you can do. And, and he showed well, and they, they managed to, to offer him a contract. And um, I think it was good for him to do that on his own. Um, but, yeah, when I got back in, it was great to, to just train with them, you know, and uh, it was really good. We did mention there you were away with, with Canada in the summer. A great honour for you to be in that environment. Yeah, exactly. Um, it was a great, it was the proudest moment of my life getting the call up. Um, you know, it was a bit difficult with COVID protocols when I was when I was there. I had to isolate for for ten days right when I landed, and um, it was a bit frustrating to be fair. But um, you know, I trained really well. I didn't get my opportunity to get my first cap, but I was in about it, and I was I was really close to and pushing to get in. Um, but I think I showed well, and hopefully the coach the coaching staff there were. Um, uh, able to see what I could do. Do you think it was just rewards for the season that you had last year because you put in important performances at important times and on the balance of reflection, it was probably the right time for you to get that level of exposure? Yeah, last season was a big step up for me. Um, I was playing, you know, I really enjoyed it. I was playing a lot of football, a lot of minutes, and um, I was playing a good, like obviously the highest level in Scotland, and I was be able to show. Um, you know, good and show well in the games, um, and it was great that we were able to, you know, to stay up and, and definitely look this season and push, and not just to stay up but to, to move up the table from last year. Struggled so desperately to score goals. It's a nice ball from Peyton, too short. He's continued his run here. He's going to size up a shot at goal. He is, you know, that is fabulous. Harry Peyton. It's a Canadian classic from the Ross County midfielder. And Harry Payton laces it into the bottom corner and gives the Staggies a shock lead in Leaf. It's your third year now at Ross County. How do you feel this season compares to previous in terms of importance for you personally? Personally, um, it's a big step for me. Um, it's my last year. Uh, my contract with, with Ross County this year and I'm just going to you know, keep my head down and um, really work hard this year and push for another call up with Canada and just um, yeah just to prove you know just uh, to, I can get the goals and I can get my stats up um, that's a big personal thing for me this year. You came on against Aberdeen and did an excellent job you did the same at Celtic Park on uh, a weekend just past. Must give you great confidence when you've missed parts of pre-season because you're out of Canada that you can still come in and have that level of impact with the team. Yeah, it's been a really kind of up and down start to the season for me. Um, but you know, um, coming in and playing against the top teams like that and doing well is, is what I'm here for. You know, uh, I want to play against those big teams. And, um, yeah, for sure. And how have the tennis competitions been? Have you and Ben managed to get any tennis competitions? The tennis, going I'm yet? not gonna lie, we have actually been talking about it, and we're gonna rent out um, a couple of courts probably soon, and uh, we'll be playing some tennis for sure. Who's the better of the two? You know, as humble as I am, I have to say Ben is the better one. He played for Team Canada when he was younger. Um, but to be fair, I do give him a game. When you signed for the club, was it a case of when you seen a lot of the guys that were in the squad, specifically in your position, that maybe had a couple of hundred games at professional level? Was that something that whet your appetite to go shoulder to shoulder, toe to toe with these guys to make your impression? Yeah, for sure. Like for me, um, it's to get that many appearances and trying to equal that and even go above and beyond and get as many appearances as I can in my career. So, obviously. Harry uh, was called up for Canada in the summer there. That'll be an ambition that I'm sure you've got as well for your future is to make an impact on the national scene. Yeah, definitely. Like For me, it would be a, an honour to represent my country. So hopefully someday I can get the call up. Moving to the Highlands, living back with Harry, how would you assess that now opening three, four months being in the Highlands in terms of taking football away from everything and just Ben Payton to Inverness? 
Um, yeah, I'd say I just, it's, I'm just enjoying it, like, just enjoying life here. Um, I'd say it's just different and you just gotta take everything and just go with it. Okay guys, who's the worst dresser? Who's the noisiest? <laughs> He's a snorer. Who's the messiest? This uh, guy here, oh he never does this the dishes. Room. He had to touch the dishes once. Who's the best cook? I have to take that, so I have to take that, yeah. Who's the longest in front of the mirror? <laughs> this guy. Me, probably, because he's got <laughs> this guy right here. Who's the best, who's got the best taste in music? You know, I think that's a tie. I yeah, think we, we like the same music, to be honest. Best TV choices? That's a good one. It's not because we watch No, I, it's me, because I gave you clickbait to watch the other day. Yeah, I'll give you that. Who's the laziest? <laughs> oh, I'm always waking up in the morning. So no, you're not. <laughs> you're joking. Who's the most forgetful? Oh, my God. I'm I always forget everything. Who's the better driver? Oh, me. He's not yet to get his UK license. <laughs> Who's the most generous? The most generous? Yeah, you know, Ben, I'll take I'll give that to Ben. He's generous. Who's the better footballer? <laughs> That's not even a question. I knew that, I, I knew that question was coming.